Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Janet. Welcome to my channel, where I hope to inspire you to create a home and a life you love. Well, I am here at a very exclusive and private spot in Maui, Hawaii, and I really feel like I manifested in the opportunity to be here right now. So I wanted to talk a little bit about manifestation and setting intentions, especially as we're dawning on a new year. I think this is a very important topic and I think that people misunderstand and don't do their New Year's resolutions correctly. They make them too hard, difficult, and complicated for themselves, and it really just doesn't have to be that way. When we set intentions and a clear vision, it's very easy to manifest things into your life. I feel like there's a very much of a masculine energy in terms of success and motivation and drive and doing and grinding and working and this whole hustle mentality that's been going on and frankly it's just exhausting and when you're doing things that you love and you're setting an intention in more of a feminine way things flow to you and it's much easier so when we really surrender in our bodies and we're able to do that in a peaceful environment like where I am here, when you're away from the hustle and the grind, it comes to you much more easily. But we still need to have that clear vision and intention and knowingness of what we want or how can it come to us. And so for this new year, I'm asking you to set a clear intention of what you want for 2023. It's been a rough few years for a lot of people, me included. And I'm finally doing something that I love and that I've been like yearning to do for so long, but I just really didn't know how. And until I got to that place of complete knowingness and surrender, things didn't start working for me on that path. And now that it has, I feel so good and things are flowing so much more smoothly. It's just incredible. And I wish this, I wish I could have figured this out for myself sooner. So I'm sharing this with you so that hopefully you going into the new year can do this for yourself and you'll realize how easily things will come. So I really want you to take a minute in solitude today and think about really what you want and not in terms so much of things, places, um, money, success, those things. But what I want you to think about is how do you want to feel in 2023? What do you want your life to look like? Why are you here on this planet? What gifts do you have to give to the world? Because I feel like we all have gifts and talents and part of our responsibility here in this lifetime is to share those gifts with others. We have those gifts so we can use them to be of service to other people. And so most of our gifts and talents are things that come naturally to us or things that we like or love doing. They're things that fill us up with energy. We could do them till the crack of dawn and we wouldn't even be tired. It's the things we do when we get into the flow. And if you don't know what those things are for you, then my advice for you in 2023 is to start experimenting and doing different things. That could be joining a class or a club or a group, getting out, meeting people, talking about things, seeing what lights your fire, traveling if you can, to try to find out what really that is that ignites your soul. And if you already do know what that is, spend time doing that. And also spend time in meditation to contemplate these things, what it is that you do love, what your talents and gifts are, and then also how you can use those more in your life to be of service to others and incorporate those into your life. And that can even happen at your nine to five job because maybe the job that you're doing is a gift and a talent that you have that you're using to share with not just that company, but with their customer, their consumer, with a broader audience. And so the work you're doing there does make a difference and does make a change on this planet. So please set some clear intentions of what you want it to be like. For example, I want this upcoming year of 2023 to be filled with gratitude, grace, love and light for me. I want to touch those around me 
with love and light and positive healing energy. I want to share my gifts with the world and I want to do that in a fun, energetic, positive, healing and helpful way. When I am doing that and being in service to others, ultimately I feel good and I feel better. And there's a ripple effect to when I feel good to those around me, to the people that I touch, to my physical neighbors in my own backyard, to the other neighbors in my neighborhood, the broader community, and therefore the world around me. They've actually done research on this, that when your own happiness and your own positive energy is possible, that it spreads to those around you. So people are very affected by your energy. So those are the kind of intentions I'm spreading. So think about feelings and put those into sort of a visible form. So if you can write that out as an affirmation and put it in writing, that really helps. Then every day read those, that this is what I want my 2023 to be. Or do a recording or a video like this and play it back to yourself every day. You can also put an alert on your phone. I put one at nine, noon and 6 p.m. that has an alert that is a positive affirmation of what I want. So maybe you put one on that says, I want to be present, loving, and kind. And maybe when you're out of sorts right before noon and your phone alarm goes off and it shows your positive affirmation that you want to be present, loving, calm, whatever, it's going to put you in a different state than you were in before you got that alert for the affirmation. So I really want you to take some time, set these intentions, Put them into feeling form of how you want to feel, how you want to make others feel, the kind of energy that you want to bring to the world. And take some time and do this, and I guarantee your 2023 is going to be better and better. And also, another step is start taking action. Start taking baby steps towards your vision, towards your dream. It doesn't have to happen or manifest overnight. Sometimes we need patience. The dream I'm living now was a long time coming. I got divorced, I think it was in 2013, so it's been almost 10 years of really being patient and waiting for things to manifest. And believe me, things aren't exactly how I want them. I'm on a journey, but I'm feeling so much better now. And I want that same thing for you. So please set your intentions, take some little baby steps, Start doing some little research and initiative into what it is that you might like or want to be doing. Because we only have one chance at life in this lifetime here on Earth. So make it matter. Make it enjoyable. Make it fun. Bless those around you. And I bless you and wish you a very happy new year. Namaste. Ciao for now. <laughs>